Hello, in this video we will look at how the fire alarm system has implemented according to the given requirements in assignment. First of all, I will clone and download the project which is saved in GitHub to a local directory in computer. As you can see, we have implemented the fire alarm system in separate projects as Restful Web Service, RMI Client, RMI Server, Sensor Dummy, and Web Client. Now, let's open these projects separately with the relevant IDs. Here, I will open a terminal in a Restful Web Services project directory and run npm install to install the dependencies, since we get these projects from GitHub. Let's continue the same process with sensor dummy as well. Both sensor dummy and restful web services are implemented as node projects. Here I will open the desktop client and RMI server as Eclipse projects. Let's open the web client and continue the same process done with RESTful Web Services and Sensor Dummy in web client as well. And let's go to the RESTful Web Services directory and start running the REST API. Here the service is started and after that let's start the sensor dummy by going to its directory. By starting the sensor dummy it will start generating random sensor values for carbon dioxide and smoke level and save those data in database. After that, in order to run the RMI server, let's start the RMI registry by going to the RMI server folders bin directory, open a terminal and giving the command as start RMI registry. As the REST API is already activated, now let's start RMI server by running server.java file as a Java application. Here the RMI server starts and gets sensor data through the REST API with every 15 seconds. Now let's start the desktop client by logging in as an admin. Username and password should be provided to log in to the system. When successfully logged, the sensor details are shown as this and desktop client refreshed and get the sensor details from RMI server within every 30 seconds and refresh blocks are shown in blue outline. Now let's run the web client implemented as a React application by giving the command as npm start. While it's loading, let's focus again on desktop client. Here the red blocks indicate when carbon dioxide or smoke level are higher than the expected value and rest are shown in green color.
Admin can control the sensor details of both desktop client and web client from these add and change state buttons. Here, the web client displays sensor data while refreshing and getting sensor details from REST API within every 15 seconds. As you can see, admin can add a new flow or new room by selecting the particular flow. Let's add a new flow and it displays like this. And let's add a new room to the newly added flow by selecting the flow number as 6. Here it displays like this and let's add another room for that flow. And these changes are shown in both the desktop client and web client. And also admin can on or off a sensor in a particular room. As for example, let's switch off the sensor of room 2 in second floor. As you can see, now the room 2 second floor sensor is off in both of the desktop client and web client. And now let's switch off on the sensor of room 3 in third floor. So now the sensor of room 3 in third floor shows active states both in desktop client and web client. And also RMI server invokes the email and SMS methods implemented with REST API within every 15 seconds and send mails and messages if the carbon dioxide or smoke levels are higher than expected values. Let's check the mail service by giving a mail address. Here, the received mail contains all the sensor details which exceeded the given carbon dioxide and smog level. And for the SMS service, we have used Twilio API to send SMS messages to the phone. And these are some screenshots of messages received about the sensor details from Twilio auto-generated number. We have set sensor dummy to the generate random sensor data for carbon dioxide and smog level within every 15 seconds here. So that's how we implemented the fire alarm system. Hope you get a clear idea about it. Thank you.